Hey guys, and welcome back to Director in the Making, aka me, Veronica. I am with Lala. Hi. I've mentioned before in a few other videos that she is a witch. Or kind of like a witch in training, I guess you would say. I don't know what training means, I'm just a witch. Well, I'm a self taught witch, okay? We'll go with that. Because a witch in training, I would be under a tutelage of someone else. Oh, that's true. oh my god, that would be amazing to be a witch like apprentice. Well, yeah, that's kind of what happens in covens. When you join a coven of more experienced witches, the witches that are older than you teach you stuff. I, on the other hand, do not want to be in a coven because I'm antisocial, so I am self-taught. <laughs> so I figured, since I haven't really showed you guys anything witchy that she's done, and I keep telling you she is, might as well show you some of the stuff she does. So today, we are going to get mysterious. Batman. <laughs> There's just pain in my eyes. <laughs> she gave me the long cloak and is now regretting it. I am. I really am. But it's comfy. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to run around like you're Naruto. Every time you run around, you have to, yes. Make noises? Yes, because sound effects help everything. <laughs> Moving on. I, I'll be doing tarot card reading. Um, yes. She asked some people online some questions. Um, or what she should ask those questions, and I'm going to do my best to, um, answer them with the help of the universe. The universe. Jazz hands. Ugh. So we'll move to the floor. I have a standard tarot card deck, which means I have a major arcana and a minor arcana. Major arcana has 22 cards in it and the minor arcana makes up another 56 56 that's 50, a, damn okay 56 yes it's a total of 78 cards i had a like that's wow that's like, a lot of cards i need a thick stack it's thick thick, thick with five c's not that many c's there's thicker stacks oh oh okay so three c's yeah the ones that i'll be using the ones that i have the ones that i enjoy are from the shadow scape deck it's really cute really pretty i like the art on it what we're going to do first is I'm going to go to my social media accounts where I told everyone, hey, I'm going to be doing a tarot card reading later today. So what should I ask the universe? So here are some of your guys' responses. So the first one is from Brie. It says, on a scale of 1 to 10, am I alive? I don't know if she means herself or me because I'm asking the question. So I guess we're just going to do both. Yeah. On a scale from 1 to 10, is me and Brie... Is it is me and Brie alive or are me and Brie alive? Is Brie are Brie and I alive? That's the there that's, are you, Brie you, and you, I alive. You you, you, you me over with that one. I'm English grammar man. Okay, I I can't I can't. I was thinking of Brie and so this is a five of cups. I'm gonna give her a five. Brie, you get a five. <laughs> She's got a life of five. Uh, the five of cups wallows in regret and loss. It is the rejection of. Pleasure, feeling sorrow, and wishing for what might have been. Brie, are you good? <laughs> Call her up after this. Brie. So you got a five. The universe says you're sad regret, and lonely. Sad, sad and, lonely. and lonely. How you doing? So, okay, should we do me I'm, now? We're just gonna do you. I'm, okay, think of me. How's my life doing from a scale to one to ten? Life, how is Veronica doing? How is moi? Good to goody. You got the queen of wands. We can say it's a ten or we can say it's a... 13. So on the scale, it would be a 10. So I am happy. Unless you're off the scale. Yeah. You're a 13. So it could be either 10 or off the scale. I'm really good, guys. I'm apparently really, really, really alive. Just in uh, case you guys thought I was like a figment of your imagination or dead. Queen of Wands is dedicated, engaging, and attractive. She's cheerful and a beep. She knows the role of the <laughs> queen and plays it with perfect calm assurance. Giselle, I'm a queen. She's something all right. <laughs> I should probably explain the kind of draws that I'm doing depending on what I'm being asked. Yes. Right now, uh, it's, it's very simple, basic questions that want a relatively straightforward answer. So I'm doing a one card pull. Um, if, if we get more complicated questions, I'll do a multi card pull if I feel like I need clarification. Next question from Julia Goodwin Writer, aka Leah. When will all people be smart? Oh, I that's could tell you right now that's never gonna happen 
Well, they wouldn't be smart if there was no dumb. Fun so it's not actually a good thing. It'd be a better thing if yeah. people had more common sense. That'd be nice. Yes. But so. you, you kind of need dumb people to realize who's smart. When? 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 How do I? How do I? Uh, time question. I hate time questions. Yeah, the cards are very just like interpretive. How am I supposed to interpret time? I could I could ask it. Will people? Will all people ever be smart? So so universe. That's a better question. So we're gonna change the question to. Will all people become smart at some point in time? Yeah. Because because the, the universe can't tell me two days from now because that's not how it works. Yeah. I wish it was. I wish that the universe could tell me I'm meeting my soulmate in four days. But no. Mm -mm. That's not how that works. Ace of Cups. Ooh. Huh? That's fine. So basically, I'm going to say that it's telling me is that people will all become smart when they decide to delve deeper into themselves and into the world around them. Very deep. Very deep. <laughs> Ten deep. Thank you, universe. Ten <laughs> deep. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Universe. Why does Hollywood keep making remake remakes? It's probably gonna do something with money, power, greed. I can tell you right now. So she got the nine of wands. Cat is hiding in chicken mode. <laughs> stop! Stop calling her a chicken. She. You say it too. She looks like a rotisserie chicken. I have no idea what you're talking about. I would never call her. I, I, excuse <laughs> me. Now I'm gonna film you one time, and I'm just gonna be like, ha! I call her turkey. It's different. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You have a certain preference on what bird I call your cat? Yes, of course! <laughs> How is a turkey better than a chicken? That's what I need to ask the universe. Turkeys can climb trees and attack you from above. Oh. Did you know that? <laughs> Jesus. Did you not know that? No. Wild turkeys climb trees. Well, you learn something new every day. Not, not a, what? Wands. Not a, wands. Wands. You are a wizard, <laughs> The question was, why does Hollywood keep making remakes, right? Yeah. For some reason, the universe is, is telling you to keep vigilant, so I'm assuming that at some point one of these will be pretty damn good. Oh. That's that's the universe. It's okay. Like, the so... universe is like, you can't stop it. It's going to keep happening. Yeah. But one of these is going to be pretty good one of these days. So just wait and see. Very roundabout answer. But it's the universe. They don't really... Yeah. Do straight answers. Okay, the last one on Instagram that I got is why does it keep f***ing people over? 2020? Yeah, just pretty much what? what's up with 2020? Why 2020? So, universe, why why is 2020 so f***ing horrible? Tragic. Horrible. Annoying. Um, Devastating. Uh, Nerve-rocking. Heartbreaking. Grating. This card really wants to come at me. Ooh. Um, Death. <laughs> So the death card usually in most Torah, uh, Torah looks looks pretty pretty bad, pretty scary, pretty evil. Death does not always mean literal death. In this deck, it symbolizes death with a phoenix because death can also symbolize rebirth. It, it symbolizes the end of one thing to the start of the next thing. So basically, uh, the universe is telling you 2020 sucks so bad is because it's literally closing the door on so many f things. But there's a button there. It's the start of some new stuff. Okay, I have one more, and it's from my friend Noel. Oh God, Noel's a special. Boy. He's he's very special. He's uh, one of the first that watched these two, so he could. I'm gonna let you know, Noel. You're you're. Leave a like right now before she says what she says. Wait, let's let's <laughs> let it count down. Of. Are we really letting him count down? I'm I'm putting a countdown like right here. We're just gonna wait, and um, I think it might be over about. Okay. Now, okay, go. <laughs> Noel's, Noel's a strange, special boy who's a little weird, a little dumb. A little dumb. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Um, he asks, ask it what a tarot is. I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> little, little strange, a little special, little, little dumb. So, okay, maybe we can rephrase the question. Does the universe know we're talking... Through tarot? through tarot? Yeah, through tarot cards. Does it think we're just, you know, phone call kind of thing? Or does it think we're actually in front of it? I don't know how you'd be in front of the universe, but Well, like, you exist in the universe, so it's yeah. not real, like, you're never not away from you're the universe. You're in front of it, beside it. You're inside of it. You're, yeah. You're inside of you're it. You're just engulfed in... Universe. Universe juice. <laughs> I try so hard. I try I'm sorry, so hard. I tried to make a joke and it was bad. I try so hard. Try Got so, so hard. hard. 
<laughs> but in the end, and it didn't it really, really matter. matter. <laughs> I'm gonna ask in the universe if you're the fault of all my issues. What if I'm the fault of your stars? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, let's go back to... <laughs> anyway! What is a taro? <laughs> universe, what do, you, what, do you, what do you got for me? We're just gonna, we're gonna spread <laughs> and that one. This is the Knight of Swords. Ooh. Knight King. Why am I such a f***ing idiot? Still um, ooh. Um, the, the king is the pillar of strength and morality. He holds power over life and death. He's a warrior king. I must say that the universe knows exactly what it's doing, and Noel, if you question it again, it's gonna <laughs> run you through with a sword. That's all I got! <laughs> we, we should check what time and day is, so that's something happens to know at that exact point in time. It's gonna be really so, funny. today is 8.36 on... Today Jones. is 8.36. <laughs> today is Tuesday, July 21st at 8.36 p.m. Yeah. Yes. Can we talk about, um, are chickens better than turkeys? <laughs> I'm not even shuffling for this one. <laughs> Are chickens better than turkeys? Mm. You got one, the magician. The magician is about creation and blah blah blah, so it means they're equal. Thank you. That is it of all the questions that I have. I guess this is the end. Is this the end? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, we'll end it here. We're, we're gonna end it here. If you want us to do another video, how many likes should this get? I'll give it a, I'll give it a special, special ooh, tarot ooh. card number 22. 22. 22 likes, and we'll do this again with more questions, hopefully, from you guys. If you follow all my social media, down in the description below. And also, subscribe, because why not? And if you don't, she'll turn you into a frog. So you better She'll do it. actually turn you into a frog. She's better at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you had a good time. Hope you learned some stuff about tarot cards. Thank you, Ramallah, for doing this. If you want, and put in the description if you want a more in-depth understanding and, like, telling of what tarot cards are, where they started, their history, because I can do that stuff. Yes. Comment below if you'd like Ramallah to do some more teachings. Cut. That's a wrap. And cloak. <laughs>